This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Audio. What are you doing here, Jordy? Just trying to be healthy, Janik. Seems like you really need it, Jordy. <laughs> I bet I'm better at sports than you'll ever be. Let's do this! <laughs> Let's do this! Hey folks, Jordy here for CineCan.net and welcome to Copycat Friday, YouTube's greatest series on which we recreate cool effects from famous films, music videos, and now and then a commercial. The Beats by Dre have released their Power Beats Pro. No idea if they're any good, but we're just here to look at the creative effect that they pulled off in their commercial video. They've made sure that the air plug was always in the middle of the frame, and this is done through a simple technique inside Adobe After Effects. However, there are a few things that we need to pay attention to while taking the necessary shots. But before we dive into that, I'd first like to thank Storyblocks Audio for their support today. For a single price per month or per year, you gain access to their incredible library packed with sound effects, loops, and music. You can download unlimited audio files without additional costs. Plus, you can use anything for commercial work as well. All the sound effects and music that you heard in the intro came from their library. And just like some of the biggest TV channels in the world, we also love their library and make use of it with almost every project. To start browsing through the library of Storyblocks Audio, make sure to click the first link in the description below. Of course, you don't need earplugs, this effect can be achieved on any object. To make it yourself easy though, make sure that the object you want to stabilize has a good contrast to its background. In this case, the white earplugs definitely stand out and will be easier to stabilize. The first thing that we need to pay attention to during the shot is going to be motion blur. Now, this is the blurriness that occurs on moving objects. It's something natural, but when you're gonna stabilize the shots, the motion blur should be gone or at least pulled back to a minimum. So you wanna increase the shutter speed of your camera. If you're shooting at 25 frames per second, then don't be afraid to pull it up to 1 200th of a second or even a little bit faster. The next point that we're gonna have to pay attention to is resolution and framing. The post stabilization is gonna crop into your frame, so you wanna shoot at the highest resolution possible. And since we're cropping, a medium shot is gonna turn out as a close-up. So if you wanna have a close-up shot of your subject, you're gonna need to stand back and actually take some kind of a medium shot. And that brings us to the final tip while shooting. To minimize the amount of crop, we're gonna try our very best to shoot the desired object in the middle of the frame. Use your monitor guides to align your subject in your frame and try to keep it in there while taking your shots. Going handheld is of course not so easy, but it does work. If you can use a gimbal, then that definitely helps. So with these three tips in mind, go ahead and take your shots. You could even turn around your head, but that is gonna require a little different technique in After Effects, which we'll also have a look at by the end. Now jumping now into Adobe After Effects, drag your shot into a new composition. With the layer selected, head over to the Tracker window. If you can't find it, then locate it from the menu on top, Window, and from here choose Tracker. Click on Stabilize Motion, which is gonna give you a tracking point. We're only gonna track the position, so you can leave the other options off. Enlarge the inner square to cover the ear plug, which is the actual tracking mark. The outer square is the searching area, so that one can be bigger. The more motion you have, the bigger the outside square should be. Now before we are going to click the tracking button, I'm going to open up the options of the tracker first. 
Now, there's an interesting feature in here on the bottom where you can choose what the tracker has to do when it has trouble following your subject. And by default, the tracker will try and fix its position, but usually this doesn't turn out so great. So what I'm gonna do is change adapt feature to stop tracking. Then press OK and hit the track forward button. Whenever After Effects now loses the earplug as a tracking mark, it will simply stop its tracking and not go wild. You can then simply adjust your tracking points and perhaps change the size of the squares and then track forward again. Once After Effects is done with the tracking, you can hit Apply. You'll know just now that your shot is stabilized around the earputs, but doing so move the clip around revealing black areas. Since the tracking was done on the anchor point, you can simply scale and position your clip to cover up the entire comp. And that's it! A super simple effect, but it looks awesome. Now let's take this idea a step further. Right here we've got a shot right do a complete turn. Tracking on the earplug is not gonna be possible, and there are two ways we could do the tracking. The first one is gonna take a long time. You wanna go back to your tracking window, but this time make the inner square so big that it covers your entire head. The outer square is gonna be a little bit larger now again. The bigger your squares are, the longer the tracking is gonna take, but it works. If you have the patience, you'll find out that the stabilization worked out pretty good. Now, to make it yourself easy, you can make a long shot so that your head appears smaller on the screen and so the tracking will go faster. But then there is the second way of doing this. This, however, is gonna require you to purchase the pro version of the Mocha plugin. With the free built-in version of Mocha, we can do the tracking, but we can't really tweak the stabilization. So that's where Mocha Pro comes in, which you can drag to your clip from the effects library. There's also a trial version available if you'd like to try this out yourself too. Now click on Mocha to open up the dedicated program. From here, we're gonna start by tracking the pen tool and drawing a quick shape around your subject's head. When done, click on the track forward button. The tracking will go super fast, but not 100% correct, so now and then you need to adjust your mask. But Mocha does a great job at calculating the changes on the mask. Now when the tracking is done, you wanna move over to the tab Stabilize. From here, you wanna make sure that only X and Y translations are selected. Now this is the position of the clip. Also check maximum smoothing and then click on the render forward button. Mocha will then stabilize your shot on the previous tracking and when it's done you can click on the export stabilized tracking data button. From the drop down select After Effects transformation data and then click on copy to clipboard. You could then close Mocha and within After Effects select your clip and hit Ctrl or Command C to paste the tracking data. And that's it! a way to make the tracking go a whole lot faster. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks Audio for the support. Definitely make sure to check out their library. More important, stay creative. It's, it's enough for today. Don't want to break the wrist. <laughs>